It's time to explore London part two. God damn. Hey, look at those plants. Let's go. Oh, very nice. Very nice indeed. Look at this place, the theater bar. Mm. God damn, I'm in Narnia. I'm staying in Downton Abbey fam. It's everywhere. He's being eaten. That man is going to just... Hey, up, it's me, Queen Victoria. There's Queen Victoria. And there's Kensington Palace. Fantastic. So, guys, welcome back to my next house tour. We've got the black and gold gates looking pretty good. We've got a statue of Big Man Willy. And then behind there, we've got Kensington Palace. Fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, in the dense capital city of the UK known as London, they don't get much grass and greenery around these parts. So they decided to build a gigantic garden in the centre of the city. And garden is an understatement. This place is humongous. I don't know how many acres of land it takes up. Many. But it is Hyde <laughs> and Kensington Gardens crossed together. So. Hyde Park, Kensington Gardens has a massive lake in the centre of Kensington Gardens. Cannot do water spots on it though, so that's not very good. But there's lots of the ducks. Lake. You can, you can salty smell the lake, water. but salty. But, it's salty. but, but, but it's seaweedy. I don't know why. But yeah, really, really cool, really interesting. And then we have a fountain and a Diana statue, a memorial that we're walking towards. So it's going to be pretty good. Ladies and gentlemen, we're at the Prince Albert Memorial. And in front of it is the Albert Hall. How sick is that? This is currently the back, so we'll go around the front. But yeah, look at that. I didn't even know this was it. Look at that. That's the Royal Albert Hall, ladies and gentlemen. Presented to you here live on the Tom Origins YouTube channel. And we've got the London bus in the background as well. Bang tidy. Over here, we've got the official Prince Albert Memorial. Look at that. That's fantastic, isn't it? I'm such a nerd, <laughs> but I love it. Look at it. I mean, that is just class, isn't it? Oh my gosh, what the hell? Look at the size of it. Camera doesn't do it justice, but it is humongous. Absolutely humongous. There's Helen. He's looking at his hall. He is. How feels that? Prince Albert is looking at the Prince Albert Hall. Or the Royal Albert Hall, I should say. Here's his proper name, Tom. Here's his proper name. That is amazing. Fantastic. It's like a little red line traveling across the screen. And we're going over this bridge. Yes. Yeah. Down that way. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to leave Kensington Gardens and navigate over to the famous Hyde Park. Oh, just gonna wait here. You letting us go? Thank you very much, good man. Are you letting us go? Thank you very much, good man. And a logo left on the bow, the bicycles give you no chance. You gotta go fast. Eek. <laughs> Bloody cyclists. No cycling. No cycling. Ha ha ha. Look at the gardens, they're pretty, aren't they? Where are we? We're now in Hyde Park, baby. I know. This is, oh, hello. hello. <laughs> this is Princess Diana's Park. That's her fountain, it should be turned on, but it's not, sadly. It's not on at the minute. That's a bit sad, isn't it? But that's where her park is. That's pretty cool. Where her fountain is. And this big green thing here is called Serenity. Oh, that memorial fountain. Yeah. There. Princess Diana mm -hmm. Memorial Fountain. <laughs> Tick that off the list. Was that Mark Zuckerberg? No barbecues and no fires. But there you go. Dun, 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 dun. And here is the official activity in Hyde Park. You can rent a pedalo and pedal around Hyde Park. 
That's pretty cool. That's the big bird. <laughs> pretty cool. That's how I'm trying to take a picture. And then over there, we've got... If we kept going down that way, you'd see the London Eye, Big Ben, Tower Bridge, and all that good stuff. But uh, we've done all that before. Say hi to my geese. Sup, dudes? They're from Canada. Pretty cool Canadian geese. We uh, get a pedalo on you and come here with Helen. Go pedaloing. <laughs> Fantastic. The club room 410 at the Grand Royale. Fantastic. We're at the home of Sherlock Holmes. This is Baker Street, my dear Watson, and there is Madame Two Swords. There you go, Helen, that's where we've been. Yeah, oh, Star Wars. Uh, we Star went there, didn't we? The Star we Wars that. and Marvel exhibit. We saw that, didn't oh we? my god. I mean, you see, there's a cost of living crisis, but. A lot of people spend millions of pounds a day in this city. It's crazy. It's crazy. We have four stops away. Oh, four stops away. As an Amazon Fresh supermarket, so it's the first like type of supermarkets in the UK where you don't have to have any form of cash or checkout or anything. You just pick up what you want, leave the shop, and it'll charge your Amazon account straight away. That's awesome. Now we're off to London, Euston. This is this is the train scenario. Let me show you a first person view of my cabin. <laughs> Here's my cabin, and I've got a nice sheet blanket that Did you I say can put it in the overhead locker? The overhead locker is full at the moment. Oh, what was that noise? Oh, good heavens! This is my uh, on. This is my carry-on. I've decided to carry it on literally. Now it's, now it's attached to my seat. Helen's suitcase is having a great time over there. <laughs> Anything off the trolleys, dear? <laughs> We've done it! I think it's going back to London now. We've done it, it is. It's going back to London. That train's going back to London. That is mad. Oh my god. We have officially finished our London trip. But it's not over yet. It's not over. We've still got one more leg of the adventure to go. We've got to get from here to Victoria. And then from Victoria back to the Tom Origins HQ building. But oh my god. We've been on an adventure today. It's 3.46 in the afternoon and it's time to get the hell home. Got all the bags. <laughs> We're so close to being finished today. Literally, it's just been public transport after public transport. It's been crazy. Absolutely crazy. But we're so close to the finish line now. Yay. What a day that's been. My legs. I've got bloody calves bigger than that Gerard Butler from 300. Let me pop off me shoes. Oh, steam coming off me socks. I've got bloody steam coming off me feet. Let me get the other one off. Hey! Absolutely cream crackered, knackered. But what a trip. What a trip that's been. <laughs> we saved my sister and her husband at least a good couple of quid because the dog sitters, like I explained down there, are a fortune. My sister works as a school teacher, assistant, helping in special needs classrooms. My brother in law does one to one private golf lessons, so if you're in need of a golfing lesson, check him out. Um, and the boys obviously are in school 24-7. But my brother-in-law and my sister both work full-time. Never get two minutes to themselves. Never get to put their feet up at the end of a busy day. They've always got something going on. So when they said to me and Helen, would you mind terribly missing a Comic-Con we need even Danny, which made me gutted, but come down and help us out so that we can finally get away on a holiday. It was all worth it. They sorted us out with our shopping while we were down there. 
sorted us out with a nice takeaway before they went on holiday and they treated us to that beautiful stay in that awesome hotel that you guys saw. So they are the actual sponsors of the video, I guess you could say. They are legends and I love them. They've had the greatest time on holiday from what I can tell. And I've had great memories with them. We went to New Year's when I was nine. Didn't do YouTube properly back then, but had a great time for New Year's down there with them. Every Christmas they've been part of my life. Uh, this year will be one of the first Christmases in recent memory that they weren't, which will be kind of sad and weird, but they'd go into Scotland, so that kind of makes sense. It's nice. But yeah, four hours away from your sibling. It's not nice. Definitely not nice. So if your sibling lives close by to you, no matter how much they get on your nerves, no matter your age gap, no matter what's going on, give them a big hug from Tom Origins because I love my sister and I love my brother-in-law and I haven't got any siblings close to my age. They're both, you know, older than me with families and jobs and kids. Oh my God, scary stuff. But I love them to pieces and they've given me and Helen a fantastic summer down there. And uh, would we go back next year? I don't bloody know yet, so ask me in a bit. <laughs> Peace. Switch up all the rules And imagine a utopia Darling, I'm just so fed up with What does perfect even mean?